Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a staff member or volunteer will present an object from the museum's permanent collection and pose questions for discussion. Please check back each day at 10 a.m. for new work and a new conversation. Hi, I'm Susan, a docent at the museum, and today I'd like to present Return of the 147th, a painting by Cincinnati native Dixie Selden. Selden was born into a wealthy family that mourned the loss of her two siblings as infants. Her parents had the means and desire to indulge her. To their credit, perhaps they also recognized her artistic talent, which they fostered with her own art studio and two trips to Europe before she was 15. Enrolled in the McMicken School of Design, later the Cincinnati Art Academy at 16, she studied there for some six years. Here she is pictured among her classmates She's the one in the middle, not the bony one. It is said that she was Academy instructor, later director, Frank Dubinac's favorite pupil. She was influenced by his style and by the Munich School, which emphasized dark tones and the human figure. Her portrait of Dubinac is a good example. Selton's style changed dramatically after a summer workshop with William Merritt Chase. Her colors became more brilliant, her style more impressionistic a style that is said to mimic her cheery and endearing personality. The scene that the return of the 147th represents is an actual scene in since that was captured here in Cincinnati. Men of the 147th Infantry Regiment parading in downtown upon their return from France after World War I. Note the men atop roofs and on ledges to catch a better view. You can tell the artist was also looking down, although I doubt if Dixie Selden stood on a ledge. Note the triumphal arch the soldiers are parading under. It bore the inscription, Honor for Duty Nobly Done. Better seen in this photo. And who's that under the arch? None other than the genius of water atop the Tyler Davidson Fountain. The two towers in the background are a mystery to me. Could the one on the left with be a with a clock be City Hall? Was there another clock tower at the time? Were there some artistic license taken here? Fun to ponder, but not necessary to know. The photos may be clearer, but I prefer the painting. It gives me a better feeling of what it was like to be there. You can tell it was a sunny day from the shadows on the street. There was a breeze, the flags are billowing. The crowd, the buildings, and the decorations are an array of color, very festive. They contrast with the somber brown of columns of soldiers. Just as there are an array of colors, I'm sure there were an array of emotions that day also. Not all the young men got to return. What emotion does this painting bring to your mind? You can leave your comments below.